Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Arissa and today I'm going to do a Dutch pour again. I've really been into the Dutch pour lately. I don't know why, but it makes me happy. And today I'm going to do a ruby background and I'm thrilled. I cannot wait. My background color is the ruby by Modern Masters. It is so pretty. It's so pearlescent and shimmery and metallic and gorgeous. Ooh, so excited. I'm going to do ruby with blues and a little gold and a little bit of a champagne pearly color. Um, and I'll show you my, I'm going to use a style activator as well. And I'll show you that in just a moment. So my colors today are the, um, Payne's Gray by Golden. Very fluid. I am going to use the Turquoise Deep by Liquitex. I'm using the Glacier Opal, I think is what it's called. Sorry, not Opal, but Glacier Blue by Modern Masters. And this one is such a pretty color. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, so pretty. And my champagne color is Champagne by Art Minds, mixed with a little bit of Pearl by DecoArt Americana Metallics. And then I have a mixture of the Prism Pour. I'm sorry, not, yes, sorry, Prism Pour. This stuff, new, this new stuff here, it's gorgeous. Um, so I have a mixture of that in Egyptian Coin and the Golden Iridescent Bright Gold Fine. And my cell activator, I was going to use the titanium white, but I added just a little touch of the pearl, I'm sorry, of the ruby in here to get this really cool pink. And I think it's gonna look cool because it'll create lacing, so it won't be so like pink, I'm thinking. <laughs> but we shall see. For now, I'm gonna put the video on pause and I'm going to flood my canvas and then I'll be back. flooded this color is so pretty it's like a straight up ruby it's so jeweled and gorgeous and i'm thrilled i'm gonna get rid of my really powerful hair dryer that i used to flood and because he was my average joe hair dryer that's not going to spray paint all over my room here and we'll get started <sighs> so pretty such a pretty color all right so what shall I do with regard to composition? I think I kind of want to, I want to leave a lot of negative space. So I may just do one sweep here and go up this way and down that way and just leave a lot more negative space than I would typically. I'm going to torch this really quickly. There's not too many bubbles, which is good, but there are a few. such a shadow on this right now. I don't know. Are you seeing a big shadow? No, not too bad. I can see some. Okay. So, composition. We're going to go dark. Not necessarily dark to light, but we are going to go flat to alternating flat and metallic. So, I'm going to start with my Payne's Gray. And I think I'm going to start this way. kind of a funky shape. Because I want negative space right here. I don't know why I'm seeing it there, but I want some negative space right there. I'm going to do that. So that is a flat color. And I think I'm going to, then on top of that, add my champagne. So it can lighten that Payne's Gray up a bit if needed. And then my next flat color is going to be my deep, turquoise deep. And then I will throw in my gold here. And there's going to be two metallics in a row here because I'm going to go with the glacier blue next. make sure that turquoise deep is shown. It's becoming quickly one of my absolute favorite colors. I'm going to throw this glacier blue light next. Lime 
along with this splash of blue. I'm turning, I love blues. Blues are so fun. All right, so I saw a gentleman, and I'm so sorry, I don't remember the name of this gentleman on YouTube, and he did a um, duck pool. But he used a white, but he placed it very purposefully. So say I wanted to blow this this way, he placed the white here and then blew that way and then placed white and blew up. Um, so I'm gonna do that and just try to be more, why is this sticky? Deliberate with my blowing on the air dryer, on the hair dryer. So I think first I'm gonna come down this way. So I'm gonna place my white or pink. He used white, sorry. Place my pink here and then blow this out and see what it does. Many cells. Oh, the cells are so pretty. There's of course a couple of spots that I'm gonna blow out here. I'm gonna blow this here. see that ruby in there it's so vibrant look at those cells in there oh it is so ridiculous so amazing look at the clusters and that ruby coming through and even there you can see it's kind of ghost-like but those there's lacing right there all that white pinkish color sank in but it left such a pretty design there 
and you see that glacier blue oh so spectacular it comes out so well and then these hints of the deep turquoise here it's coming out deeper than it is in real life it's more greeny turquoisey and this looks more rich and blue but it's just so pretty but look at that that is that is words escape me i love that look at that so this is why I don't want a torch here because it would disrupt all of this pretty texture in here. And that's why I love the lacing because it gives you so much texture in your piece. But look at these little clumps of cells. They're so pretty. They're just so pretty. Oh my goodness. And you see you get lots of different variations of the colors as they mix with one another. And then you have all these solid blocks that work well together and more of that ghost-like lacing on this side. Do you see it? Oh, it's so pretty. Look at that. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. And again, loving this background color so much. The ruby is so pretty. So I don't want to bring it too far out because it gets a little wonky. But here is that final piece. Please let me know what you think in the comments below. Thank you for watching. If you would love to or like to or have an inkling to, please subscribe to my channel. I would so appreciate that. I'm trying to grow it. I'm not I'm not tremendously old, but I don't do YouTube, so I'm trying to figure out how to grow my channel. <laughs> so if you can help me out by smacking down on that subscribe button and maybe giving me a thumbs up and leaving a comment below, I would so appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Take care, and I will see you next time. Bye.